I got fucking. Well, nuts. that's the other thing too is like those shitty smells, like something like a like a shitty trash can. When it's over, you swear you can still smell it. Like you, it's like you feel like it's in your DNA. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but here's it. Like I, I could do an eight ball of cocaine. You for could sh- for sure over the course of the, the night. Good for you, a hundred percent. But there is something about smelling. Fucking, there was a flat tire guy in front of us. Oh my god! Yeah. As we were merging mm. for like thirty seconds, it's caught in the vents. That'll yeah. give me a burning headache for yeah. two hours. Yeah. The bleach that I have to lay down out front, that'll bleed through our fucking blinds. I'll have a headache for three hours. Yeah. Simple things like that. Yet I'll take gases from unknown sources in Mexico, chopped up with leaves, <laughs> put into a paste, and then into a powder, travel through probably shitty Bernie fucking... <laughs> yeah, probably you know, in someone's engine, asshole. Yeah, yeah, in someone's asshole. Yeah. And now, no problem. Just right up there, baby. You know, a little little foggy the next day, yeah. but... Uh, yeah, the point is, I, I agree with you. Like, best, cleaning best, products best, fuck me up. Let's <laughs> go best best buzz from burning tires, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. That's the biggest one for me. Burning, burning, burning rubber, tires. burning rubber. Those motherfuckers that have mufflers that are coughing out. You could see the hole in the ozone that's just eating up. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. what's wrong with you? Have you not changed your oil in a fucking decade? Don't you see it out your rearview mirror? Yeah, but you know what? What is what is what's the logic there? And I'm dead serious. I'm dead. I'm dead <laughs> serious. I don't know how to operate a car other than putting gas in it. Anytime I see someone in that t- type of situation, I'm like, I'm I would be that guy. Yeah, or if, if the car started to break down and I was on the highway, I would just keep going. <laughs> yeah, I keep going until I could get off. Yeah, if I got a bum wheel, matter. I'm fucking four flat yeah, tires. Yeah. I am driving hobbling to back, the next exit back to Wisconsin. Yeah. Because in that situation, <laughs> yeah. that car is yeah. just one of many problems that that person is having. Yes. Bingo. You know yeah. what I mean? The car, yes. they're like, ah, we can make it. Who gives a yeah. shit? Yeah. Where are we going to put this body? Yeah. yeah. That's the Dingleberry <laughs> situation. That girl's got so much lint in her asshole. If she's just going to ride home on two flat tires, <laughs> oh, she dude. doesn't care about her hygiene. I took so many fucking bad Ubers this weekend. I w- First of all, I woke up every morning so insanely hungover, right? And then a heat wave hit, 90 fucking five degrees like heat index of a hundred oh, this is the worst city to be hung over and it's like i was i was at a place with no air conditioning so i slept and just sweat and then just like woke up and was like oh fuck fuck and i need to take an uber home and i'm like just <laughs> oh fuck fuck <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the double this, fuck this uber it's like I, like i just need this uber to have air conditioning i that's all i need I am dying. How I do they puke not? in the car. I feel like that's a, new, a requirement. Guy shows up four windows down. I'm like, fuck. Ah, dude. Does that mean they, that the AC is broken? Or I, is he trying to save gas? not doing it. What yeah, kind of yeah. car, what car are we, th- we talking? What year? What uh, make and model? Because gas prices are so high right now. It was now. like a Toyota Camry. True. Yeah, I guess. It that's got exactly a, I, what it is. Yeah. So people aren't going to burn the AC. That they do yeah. the four True. windows not down. Not to be empathize, racially insensitive, but you know, a. you get you jump in that cab. The guy's his hygiene is also not up to, up to par. And he's trying to save money, and he's got that fucking. He t- turns one vent on. And he's got Dude. that big cock hose going in the back, <laughs> and it's just cock hose. It's just like a fat yes, chip blowing yes, lightly yeah. on you, yeah, like lukewarm air. This is all. Like, can I put the windows down? He's like, AC on, AC on. It's like, no, it isn't. It isn't fucking on. If that's on, turn it higher. Yeah, my number one fucking pet peeve for road trips in the summer is get going. Someone dude. wants to sit in the front seat. They're like, I got a shotgun, and they sit in the front seat. Then they say they the AC is too cold. Oh, yeah. Well, and that's it's like a- that's your fucking problem, problem yeah. dude. You want to put a sweater on? Yeah. Because yeah. absolutely, you, throw your elbows we're in your shirt. In good shape. You got to take whatever's up there. Yeah. And forget cars. That goes for any place. No one should ever complain about air conditioning ever. No. Yes. Fuck you. Leave. Yes. 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 Let's do cold in here. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. Because I'm dying over here. 100. percent Yeah. You got to line up all your friends and take the the meat wagon and go. You get up front. Dude, I I think I hate summer. I, I try every year. Just our first um, our first experience with heat. But like, I was in that 99 <laughs> degrees and I was like, "Fuck this, bro. dude." Fuck I'm the this. same. Go I'm back the to same way. I might get uh, the opposite of seasonal depressive disorder. I'm with like you. When it's I'm with you. Warm, Listen, I'm, I'm a I'm a pasty, <laughs> stocky boy from Buffalo. Okay, <laughs> this is the beginning of the end for me. Like the fact that it was 64. The fact that I could wear a jacket today, I was like, "Yes, nice relief." Oh. I don't show up here. I'm like, "Let's do the," you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And you know, and you know, my wife's the same way. She's a, a pasty curvy gale and every summer 
right around April, we're like, this is going to be the summer. We, <laughs> we become summer people. We're going to get hats. We're going to go to the beach. We're going to, you know, I'm going to teach you how to throw a spiral bed. Yeah, we're talking. And uh, every summer, like uh, three weeks in, I'm like, I just want to fucking be chewing ice in the North yeah. Pole and just wait to die. Yeah. Yeah, because most of your life is spent not at the beach. Yeah. yeah. And it makes everything else hell. Yeah. It's like I can't even walk anywhere True. without drenched and now yeah. i'm starting to worry i was like what what clothes do i soak through yes you know what i mean you're like how about i guess i'm just all dark colors and new york city though is filled with these dry attractive people who have layers on now to beat a sweat on their face Dude. and you're like what are you doing what is happening thank you what the I'll fuck wear, i'll wear black jeans and people are like why are you wearing black i'm like feel the back of my ass <laughs> and then yeah. ring your if these were blue hands jeans yes. yeah yes. you'd have a map of Australia oh back my. there <laughs> yeah and I get the same way I get frustrated if I see a dry forehead in like fucking middle of July on the train I get worked with up like a I'm suit like, what What? how yeah. what's wrong with you and then I start thinking about my beads and then the beads get they get it is something you it's it's what is that psychosomatic is that what they call that yes and I'm you start smart. getting sweatier yes, and yes, sweatier yes, yes. you'll sweat because you're thinking about yourself. dude it happened you're it happened even about how much more sweat's coming dude it happened coming here today I got out of the shower and I was like I gotta get the fuck out of here I'm like it's in the low 60s why am I sweating so much because I can't find my keys where's a mask yes. I gotta get a mask I like and the more I'm thinking about sweating I'm like Ugh. Dude, awful well that's what I we haven't put in the AC units yet which is why I was so pissed off earlier because I was like I opened up my windows in the front we had all the windows open we were gonna get a nice breeze coming through here I was like worried it would be hot and then this guy dumps all that shit and it's like fucking sewage in yeah. the house literal sewage water. yeah and now, now I'm like, well, okay, now we're just going to sit in there and fucking bake. It's driving me nuts. It's a nice temp in here right now. It is. We get a cool It's pretty good right now. Yeah, it we is. get a nice little a whip around in the backyard yeah, it's around 6 p.m. Yeah. This is nice right now. 7 p.m. Yeah. It's starting feel to feel good, feel right? You don't cool. have to take your coat off, do you? I feel great. I was yeah. watching Under the Banner of Heaven, and the guy was wearing an undershirt. What the hell's that? I'm bringing, it was just a show on Hulu. It's about, like, Mormons that kill people. And, Sounds uh, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's good show. <laughs> And I was, uh, the guy, the main character wears an undershirt, and I was like, I I know that I'm, like, I get to maybe to contain sweat, but it's like, when would you ever, <clears throat> I would never wear an undershirt. Yeah. It's just going to make I never do more. undershirts either, It's like either, going dude. like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's You're like, using more energy. It's just going to get worse. You yeah. got two layers on. You I've stopped wearing, through. I've stopped wearing undershirts with hoodies. If I'm, like, especially in, like, the winter. Hoodie. On my bare chest Dude. and stomach, it feels like I feel like a million bucks. People think I'm crazy. They're like, "You got nothing under there. What if you want to take it off?" I'm like, "It's not coming off." Yeah, you know, <laughs> American Apparel. And it does feel like a risky move. Does it? Am yeah. I wrong? Yeah. Hold on, no, you're not. <laughs> and know. I'll tell you why you're not wrong. I don't know. It depends. If you get like a comedy merch sweatshirt, you're yeah, you're gonna bleed on your back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if you get a high Same quality material, yeah. like I'm talking Ameri Gap Factory outlet. Dude, <laughs> yeah. That's in the middle. Yeah. American Apparel used to have like it was like panty liner, dude. It was like lingerie inside, just a like a, a thin coat of like alpaca hair. I don't know what it was. The softest substance on earth. It was just silkworm gum, <laughs> and you put that on with no t-shirt. It's like just being gently hugged by a midget. It was wonderful feeling. Like you don't need an undershirt. I it also know. reminds me of like uh, like Howard Stern when I was in like I think I was like twenty five, twenty six, driving to work, and he was interviewing this uh, this uh, this hooker. Okay. And he was like, "What's the worst part of your job?" And she's like, <laughs> "She goes sucking a Jew's dick." <laughs> she goes, "Them motherfuckers, they wear they wear suits." <laughs> They sweat all day long in the summer. <laughs> they don't fucking stink. And that just stuck with me. I don't know why. Just Jewish dudes running around in full... They're ascetics, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, in I mean... Full suits. I think about that the all orthodox, the time yeah. when you... Orthodox. And, not, not when you see the men or the women, like, but when you see the kids and they've been made to do this and they, they see all of us walking around in shorts... And they wish they could have shorts on. I'm like, I feel for you, little man. Yeah. But you got to have this stupid hat on. Yeah. That, that should be the ultimate way to like break them free of religion. They should just start kidnapping young. Take Orthodox them to the gap. Jews. Yeah. Just it's like it's like or knock them out. Fucking put them in a bathing suit and a sun shirt and leave them on the beach. <laughs> put them in a pool with Tommy. Make sure yes. The beach, dude. Leave them on the beach. They wake up and they're like, dude. Oh my god. Oh my I would god, change any kids. Any kid's path towards hard religion with one pool day. He'd be like, I don't care what your God does. You could change lives with this pool. That's what I'm saying. 
We can get a fucking. We should get a nice uh, above ground pool back there. We got room. You think? Yeah. What's an above above ground pool <laughs> cost? Like eight grand? Beach. No, it's like four hundred bucks. No, I mean <laughs> like kiddie pool. Yeah, I mean yeah, one that's like you got to walk up a ladder. It's got you want like a nice houses. deck attached to it. That's like six hundred bucks. <laughs> No, come on. No, I don't know. It's got to be about eight grand, ten grand. Yeah, probably. What do they call? They call it. I'm not good at pricing pools. Yeah, yeah. I got no idea what a pool costs. All right, it's six thousand patrons. We get an above ground pool. Above ground pool. Yes. (laughs) Six thousand patrons. Okay. Get a whirlpool going, dude. That's all you can do above ground. You get that whirlpool float. No, you get two little tykes basketball nets on both ends. You body each other (laughs) until the fucking sun comes (laughs) down, dude. You You got got, no idea. I I do. I I don't know why I even doubted (laughs) that you have a list of things for every kind of pool, dude. Skin ball. You know what skin ball is? When did you get so good at being in a pool? My best friend had a pool growing up. Uh, Are you saying skin or skim? uh, Above ground pool. And then we also went to a public pool when I was a kid, too. Okay. Yeah. I pool excess. I just yeah. never... And we used to fuck... You ever go uh, you jump in a pool, in a neighbor's pool, jump over the fence? Yeah. Yeah, sure. You did that growing up, right? Having a friend... I mean, I didn't... I actually... Called pool hopping? You know yeah. What, you remember pool hopping? Sure. Yeah. No, I never went pool hopping. Yeah, that was the big thing. At night? A hot summer day. Yeah, at night or yeah. day, depending on how balls you were. You'd walk around the blocks, peek through the backyards. They got a pool. Figure out the best entrance, best best exit. Take a quick dip. Run in, jump, get, get out, out, run, and yeah, and occasionally get chased. But I don't moves. think most people yeah. usually don't care. They wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, you got to be a psychopath to like chase kids through. Yeah. you know. My buddy and I, we used to get uh, all set up in like army gear. We would go full camo, <laughs> paint our faces. No. <laughs> Paint our, so please paint tell our me. arms. No. Well, I like. I, I want to know where I, this I is got, going. Like, I had, I had done pretty well at the magazine drive in middle school. <laughs> I got, I got, I got, yes, dude. I got the magazine walkie talkies. <laughs> I got walkie talkies, like headset walkie talkies. Yeah. And we used to just sneak through neighbors' properties. Like, from, I think we said like you played manhunt or something. No, or we like did. We did game. play manhunt as young kids, but then we <laughs> elevated to a level like. Like, no, let's it snoop. It was just me and, like, two other We're doing buddies. a recon. <laughs> yeah, dude. And we would, like, someone would be having a backyard party, and we'd see how <laughs> close we could get to, be like, like, Bruce Dern from the, the Burbs. Party without anyone seeing us, and we'd be like, I'm pretty class. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you wonder we why you two weren't her, invited to the her. party. <laughs> <laughs> we would you two virgins through. elbow crawling <laughs> <laughs> to the middle of the party. Dude, it was so much fun. Oh, my Just God. avoiding the street lamps. Where would you guys paint each other up in like the garage? Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, in the basement. Like, did anyone's parents ever come in and go, well, "What is this?" Yeah, yeah, like, no, oh, we're no. just playing. Yeah. I don't know. It was like a, I don't know. I guess it was like an era where they were like, "All right, whatever." Yeah, nine one one immediately today. <laughs> I mean, we were so like, we were so into just army shit, man. That there was no stopping it. It'd be you know so great I mean? to like talk to your dad right now. He was like, "Yeah, like." That friend he's talking about was never real. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was real. <laughs> just like, you ready for this, Carl? <laughs> Dude, it was the fucking shit. We get binoculars. A little night just, vision. We just sit in people's How old backyards we talking and here? look just at what they were doing. If it's above but, eight, this is a problem. Oh, it was above eight. Really? What year? Yeah, it had to be up to like 12, <laughs> 13. But that's yeah. still a good, like, even if you were to get caught. Dude, I, <laughs> dude, this is eighth grade. Th- that's why in Onward, I'm always like, I'm going suppressed. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm sneaking. Oh, my yeah. God, dude. That's, uh, that's where it comes from. Eighth grade, I was just... drinking in a golf course. Trying eighth to... grade, you're drinking at a golf yeah, course? Nah, Jesus I Christ. I didn't start drinking until, like, 10th Well, I had older 11. brothers, so, like, you got invited to, like, you know, the golf. It's called the golf. Or you go to, like, either Dermont Field or you go to uh, Cobbs Creek. Jeez. Golf course, and someone would bring a keg. The older guys from from high school, and then you'd show up with a cup, and you would just ask people to pour into your cup. I oh, didn't. Man. I didn't. I didn't drink until sophomore year. I made varsity hockey team, and they took yeah, us out dude. drinking. They threw like a big party. What what, like, what, what, coming, what position did you play? Drinking. I was goalie. Oh man, that's that's the best yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah. It's got the most gear. Yeah, yeah. I know. I was big gear gearhead. But it would like, yeah, I got fucked up at this kid's house. Yeah. Yeah. They probably had to like finagle two helmets together, get and over that I, fucking dumb. And I was like such a militant, like, dude, drink is fucking stupid. Fucking only losers do it. Yeah, and dude. I remember my, my same buddy that I did military stuff with. He, uh, 
he showed up at the party and I was shit faced and he was like, dude, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I was like, this stuff is actually incredible. Yeah. Was he still painted up in camera? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how he got into the he party. He snuck out of the bushes. He yeah. grabbed me. Where you been in the last three years? Dude? I've been, looking I've been for sitting you. here waiting. Yeah, my yeah. battery ran out. Over. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that is unbelievable. 13 years old. Yeah. Just crawling around parties, seeing how close you can get to them. You ever get caught and then your ass kicked? No. No, because you could just slip into the woods. I mean, if you got spotted, it's like, you're not finding me. But even if they yeah. did, what are they going to do? You get yeah. your full camo and face paint? I don't like, know. If I was at a party and I saw some little weird creepo fucking but if they're fully 12, painted. But if they're 12. And we're two athletes. No one's catching us. Are you going to other 12-year-old parties or like adult parties? No, adult parties. Hey, you want to spy on the neighbors. How hilarious yeah. is this? Dude, it was incredible. And so then, like and then for, eventually you got to a place. You where see we, any nudity? We knew, we knew. You see anybody? Um, oh, yeah. Great no, question. but that's another. That made me think of another. <laughs> yes, dude, this is great, dude. dude my one buddy what? after college <laughs> was living with his parents. Right, he's like twenty four, twenty five. He's living with his parents, and uh, he throws like a big house party. He was like one of those kids where like his parents, were, his parents were like British. They didn't mind if like people partied at the house. He was also twenty four, so he gives a fuck. Uh, throws this huge party. At like 3 a.m., things are like winding down. Most of the people have left. Uh, another kid that we went to high school with is fucking a girl in the backyard, like kind of like on the tree line, like just like kind of in the woods. And uh, he what, is in his bedroom. Hit, what? Standing yeah, the dog. I guess. Yeah. He's standing in his bedroom looking at it, jerking off. He's watching it and jerking off. His mom comes into his bedroom and catches him. <laughs> Jeez. She catches him jerking off. Does she go look to see what he's staring yes, at? Yes. She and doesn't catch- she doesn't she doesn't go like, oh no. She like walks in. She starts whacking she her goes, clam. She looks at what he's jerking <laughs> off to. She starts diddling. <laughs> the dad comes, catches her diddling. <laughs> it's like that scene the whole family. where they all start throwing up. Dude, at 24, he got he They're got just coming. No, but I just saw someone else jerking off. I started jerking off. The whole party's just like <laughs> One big jerk fest. At 24 years old, this kid, his mom grounded him for two weeks. <laughs> oh, my God. For jerking off? For watching his friend fuck and jerking off. Yeah. Was the friend 21 as well? Yeah. Oh, well, he what might the fuck? Older. Also, why is he home living with his parents? The guy, he's just, you get know, grounded he, if you're over 18? At 21? His failure to start, yeah. You can get grounded at 21? I mean, no. Yeah, well, he didn't have a job. He didn't, so they like took his money away. Oh and my they were, like, god! Dude, go and you can't tell any of your friends why yeah. you got grounded. Is he is he like finished college at this time and he's mm-hmm, living with his parents? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ! Hilarious. Just I the mean, idea of the, the mom saddest. being like, it "Thomas, is you're grounded." <laughs> oh my god! That's like George Costanza <laughs> getting yeah. grounded by Frank. Yeah. You're grounded <laughs> for making everyone jerk off. <laughs> I had to jerk off. Dude, beating off at 21. It's like, yeah, get out of my room. Yeah. yeah. Mom. <sighs> yeah, dude, we never saw anything cool sneaking around. We, well, we, uh, yeah. We just watched people. It was fun. Oh, I thought you, you were saying this kid was like 13, 14 years old watching another 13, 14 no, year old. No, he was 20. He was in his 20s. <laughs> do you ever, do you ever get caught jerking off? 100%. 100%. I yeah. Actually, I got caught jerking off in this house by, uh, I saw Jesse Joyce. You know who Jesse Joyce is? The name's familiar. Legendary writer. In the, he's a head writer for Kimmel. <laughs> Legendary. Right now, he is. He's like a... He writes for he's like fucking... Yeah. yeah, he writes for a bunch of great guys. Like all the Oscars and the roasts and stuff. He's like the guy behind the scene. I ran into him lugging my suitcase to meet Chris by accident. I, I came behind like Jimmy Yeah, Kimmel. you came all right. Oh, yeah. hey, dang. So when I first moved in here, there was no bedroom left. I was waiting for him to move to L.A., Jono was a was in my room. Jono was going to take Love Jono. Jesse, yeah. Jono was going to take Jesse's room. So for like 3 months I just couch surfed. Y- y- you know, you got to go to bed somehow. Yeah. You got to go yank a wank. You got to flick your bean. Yeah, you got to flick the bean to shut the lights off. You know yeah. What I mean? Of course. So one time he comes Jesse's a big dude. Jesse's like 6'4", 6'5", yeah. and he comes like he would smoke cigarettes back to back to back to back just f- f- that middle room used to just be uh, taxidermy. All these 
exotic animals hanging off the wall. Half of a bear, half of a lion. I can see why he got so horned up, sure. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It so he comes barreling around. It is. It's... And he caught me beating off. But he never said anything about it. And I don't know. I don't know if, you know, you, you go from light, because the light was always on in the kitchen, to darkness, complete darkness. I don't know if, like, you know, your eyes have to adjust and he didn't, he didn't see it. But I did. It was covered. But there's whatnot. movement. There's yeah. rustling. Oh, it was, a hundred percent. Also, I feel like uh, you know, I don't know. At that point, I don't think anybody would judge anybody. They'd be like, hey, he's jerking off. Yeah, he's an older man. Yeah, yeah who cares? I don't he's think got... I, I don't. I, I've I've got caught jerking off once in college. My roommate walked in. I I've never like, but there are more times where I've jerked off. Everything goes fine, and then I do sort of like uh, like you leave I, a trail, no, no, comrades no, no, everywhere. No, no. I do I do sort of like an acoustic a little analysis. popcorn trail and gum. <laughs> yeah. There's little cum like, rags yeah. everywhere. Anyone seen Chris? Follow the gum. No. no, no. Do you ever do you ever jerk off and you were like, was how loud was I? And then the next day you do like a little bit of a sound analysis. It's like, how? are you are you like a cum screamer? No, no. But no, but if like, you got the, if you got the porn playing on your phone, yeah, maybe. yeah. Like, oh, I always go. If like, you don't have you know, headphones, you're making, you're making like mute. a little bit of noise, or the bed's creaking just a little bit, and then you realize like, how loud was that? Or, yeah. you know, yeah, or yeah. maybe you had the volume up just a touch and you're yeah. like, it was fine. Right. And then you hear someone walking around in your room that you were jerking off in later and you're like, you can hear fucking everything. Every- There's <laughs> no way. There's no, no. way. I'm mean, thinking about that now. I the apartment I live in it. now, i like watching porn on my phone. I'm like, people probably know this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. What do you do for like the uh, like sound test? Like, do you like squeak on the bed while singing like a Top Gun fucking song or something yeah there'll, there'll be a time where i'm like i'm you know i'm jerking off a little bit of volume and then uh i come and then but then i'm paranoia sinks in because i heard someone maybe you know walking around and then so i leave the volume. <clears throat> that moment of clarity I, too you've I, just come yeah, like, i leave the volume at that level with it playing and i like walk to where they were and i'm like fuck <laughs> yeah <laughs> I definitely heard that i mean i was caught in like college but it was mostly just fucking it was never you know, dudes would open. open <laughs> what a brag! No, I you never get caught jerking <laughs> off. No, I was mostly fucking. <laughs> no, I shared a, a room with a with my best friend in, in college. Yeah. So he would, and it was like a saloon door. There was no like lock or anything. See, I like missed that. out on all that fun. I was just like, I commuted. I lived in Buffalo. I went to a school, but I like drove to school every day. Yeah. It was like high school part two. I did that for the first year of school. Yeah. Mm. My senior year though of college, my my parents. I was still living with my my folks. They bought a new house, but. The new house wasn't ready to move into for like a month, and our old house closed. So I had to like move in with my grandma for like a month. And one morning before school, I had a Hustler magazine. This is you know 2003, back when magazines. Yeah. And so I was jerking they, off they with were a, filthy. Yeah, I jerked off with a Hustler. It was beautiful, and it was a beautiful moment. And I just went to school. But like when you when you live with your grandma, your, your grandma like is so excited to have like a, a young man in the house again. Uh-huh. They're up your ass, you yeah. know. So I came home from school with my bed made and the hustler on the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> just to let you know you're a fucking sinner. Yeah, and like never mentioned it to me. But, you know, maybe she was just happy that, you know. Yeah. I was looking at hustler. I Young springing yeah, yeah. boy. Yeah. yeah. You cleaned up the, the mess, though, yeah? Or she did. I don't know. I mean, yeah. it was a beautiful looking room with a, like, a, like a mint on the pillow. Instead, it was a hustler. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I got caught in eighth grade sucking on my girlfriend's titties. By her you're sucking on titties in eighth grade, yeah, man. Was, I'm way behind on Buffalo. Through, I was, it was pretty good, man. That's awesome. She was way ahead of me, like just sexually. She was my age, but just was like, God damn, I was she such was a way loser. Ahead of me. And uh, I got nice, and that's nice why thing. she was like, she was like sucking my, sucking my, and I was like, this is crazy. Like we were, it was, that we is were insane. In apart- we were in an apartment. Her dad was in the apartment. She was like, he's sleeping. It's fine. And uh, so I started sucking on her titties. And then he came in and saw it, and I was like, Ugh. and then he like stormed out. Then we like come out of the room, and he's like, "Get the fuck out of here! I can't believe you fucking do that in my fucking house!" Like was like really pissed. And this uh, is his daughter's tits. What? His daughter or your dad? No, no, it's his daughter. Okay, yeah. <laughs> So I literally went home. <laughs> if it was his dad, he'd be like, all right. Yeah, I went home. Crazy baby, losing that camo paint all of a sudden. A titty sucking in eighth grade. That's pretty cool. I, I walked home so quietly. Yeah, sorry, Sandra. Put your shirt back on. <laughs> walked into my house, and I remember just sitting on the couch, and my mom came up to me. She's like, you okay? And I was like, I think we should move. Oh my God. Because <laughs> you know like, this guy was going to kill you? She was like, why? I was like, I think we should just live in a different town. 
Oh my god! Wow, it's man. Time to live in a different time. I don't think this is. <laughs> I don't think this is a good place for us. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what? Do you know what's so I adorable? Like, I don't know, it's just a thought about <laughs> this, like this exploration of getting to know you through this podcast. As yeah. our our fans comment, is like the exploration of your mind as well, and knowing you were just as psychopathic at such a young little wee age. You just had the same mechanics. Just dude, a, oh, absolute maniac and dude. a little baby. A little yeah, baby oh, friend. It was the ba- I remember we used to sneak out. Me and this girl used to sneak out in the middle of the night. I used to like jump out of my window. Yeah. And I would go meet up with her. She's not what, what age are you here? What? What age are you at this point? 13, 12. Eighth grade? Yeah. Ninth grade? Man. Oh, it was the I was doing best. everything wrong. Yeah. It was the best. And I was so good at sneaking. Are you sucking on teens in eighth grade? I got late in eighth grade. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, my own. Kristen, yeah. uh, whoa. Should say that, <laughs> and this is both Philly. No, I was no. in Connecticut, man. But I yeah. was my girlfriend. That <clears throat> girl turned out to be my girlfriend through high school. Okay, so it was like a, a young start, but it was the you know, the budding start of a, a blossoming relationship. It was a fucking we're kids. You're exploratory, you know, explorative. Yeah, you, you yeah. poke around when things shouldn't be poked around. That was, it was the worst was like my dog. I'd always have to skip past my dog. I thought you were going to say, fuck my dog. <laughs> yeah, I'd always have to fuck my dog. He'd be jealous. Yeah. He's a spy. Yeah. <laughs> he's also in camera waiting to get fucked. Yeah. He's got a camera on his head. Yeah, he rolls on his fucking back. dog like, out of here. My tits. Oh, that was, the, that, was, that was tough. How long were you with this girl? Well, uh, through most of high school. And like so, and we would sneak out all the time, like in the middle of the night in high school. You think like your parents knew week. you were sneaking out? or They, just they think- caught me once. And they were like, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, sometimes I like to go for a walk. It's stressful in this house. Yeah. You know what's wild, though? Like, I kind of agree with them, like, or I could see them believing you because that's what you still do. <laughs> <laughs> like, two weeks ago, he was, like, gone. I like, walked up at, like, 3 a.m. Yeah. Like, but maybe your parents liked that. They were like, man, Chris is so thoughtful. They did. Yeah. I mean, they used to let us, like, hang out in the basement. And they had to know what we were doing. Like that's what suburban out. basements. Oh. That's where it all that's where goes it all down, starts, dude. Yeah, yeah. Pills, drugs, yeah. drinking. Yeah, you get that cool parent that's like, as long as they're drinking here, it's like, nah. yeah. I was such an idiot in high school because not only was I straight edge, but I never had a girlfriend, and I didn't understand why people had girlfriends. That's how dumb I was. I was like, we're all gonna go to different schools. What are you doing? And I'm like, oh, you're fucking. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. You think we're just lining up our future? Wait. Well, yeah, what was I doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this yeah. is my biggest regret. Yeah. I wish I would have tried to get laid in high you school. You don't meet the mother of your child in sophomore year in high school. I had a friend who lived on my street who would steal his mom's car, and then he would like pull it, and I would sneak out, and we would go to Denny's. That was our my. <laughs> you're sucking knows. on titties. <laughs> yes, you're sucking on titties. I'm sucking I'm on pancakes. Having a fucking super bird <laughs> dipping it in ranch, being like this thing rules. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we would go to the diner. We would go. Yeah, yeah, we would go out. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, those were the, that is the fucking sneaking out. Fucking is the best. Yeah. What's well, better if you have titties in your mouth? Yeah, it's true. I'm going to Denny's. True. By but God, but even that was like fucking wild. I mean, seeing, it is wild. It is wild. Seeing the world after like bedtime kind yeah. of is like so yeah. mind bending. It is, and you're when like, no one has a license, you're like, if we get pulled over right now, we are fucked. Yeah, dude, it still happens to me. Like. I, I was I was walking like uh, near the Williamsburg Bridge at like midnight, and it was empty, and I was just like, "This is so fucking insane! How many people want to be in this city? How expensive it is to live here? How amazing this view is? How beautiful that bridge is? And nobody's using it, yeah, right now. And there's millions of people here. And it would happen to me in Philly all the time, where it's like, I can't believe how many fucking people live here, and how there's nobody on the street." In this whole city. Yeah. Nobody's using this street right now. It's crazy to me. Well, I also, well, I agree with this because I think that we still have access to that same feeling of jumping out your parents or your childhood bedroom at your parents' house. It's, it's an all-nighter doing yeah. some wild shit, whether it's going to a house party or, or a bar, leaving a bar at 3 a.m. or leaving some fucking, some chick's house in, in another town over. Taking or the train a, by a yourself. Moon over my hammy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. There's nothing like it. It's Ugh. the same equivalent of endorphin release of a 12 year old. Yeah, you still get that high. Set. Yes. We are like, my parents Dude. are in bed yeah. thinking I'm in the other room. Yeah. Ha-ha. Here's the difference. The reason people aren't on this, the same bridge is because they got to get up and uh, provide for themselves. Yeah, they don't talk on a microphone for two hours I a week. Know. <laughs> I know. 
I know, but yeah, idiots. We have, we have days to rest our pill hangovers. <laughs> but you'd think all the people that I don't know, I, it's like you'd think that there's so much nightlife in New York that you'd think there'd be people just out. Well, staying, not Williamsburg. You know what I mean? You know? Williamsburg is not a real city. It's a fucking. No, but I, I know, know what you mean. It, 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 it happens here. It too. happens in every neighborhood, though. Yeah, You're right. Yeah. There's a stillness everywhere. True. You know, like I, I mean, even like there's Sunset Park. I'm gonna like walk through the park at like 1 a.m. after a show once, and like I came home and I was like, babe, I'm like. You got to walk through the park at 1 a.m. And then I was, she was like, I can't do that. And I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. Okay. Well, Good job. <laughs> well, it's pretty great. There's no one around. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I yeah. guess women don't really get to enjoy that. No, yeah. they don't get to yeah. enjoy the 1 a.m. Uh, yeah. Go Just wherever you want. Like, yeah. No one's trying to fuck me. Yeah. Dude, you know what I did in L.A., which was nice. And I hadn't done it in so fucking long. And it was something we did every single night, like when we were like open micing and coming up, which was like. Just go to a diner with comics and just sit there for fucking three hours and just shoot the shit. When was yeah. the last time you guys did that? It's been a minute. Dude. It brings it, you back. Oh, it fucking rules. Yeah, you know who hates that? The waitress. No, it's an all it's a twenty four hour diner. There were other yeah, people. Yeah, well there. the problem yeah, is it's New York City. New York where we like the diners here suck. Yeah. And they're so expensive. It's like twenty four bucks for 100%. a fucking club sandwich. Yeah. 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 No. There used to be a diner around the course, uh, around the uh, corner from the golf course we used to drink at in high school. It's called the Lanark Diner. It was actually the diner in uh, what's the one with De Niro and uh, Cooper? Oh, uh, Silver Linings Playbook. Yes, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. that diner. And we used to go to this diner after drinking, and then half of us would like beat the check because we're in high school drunk. <laughs> we didn't have a lot of money. Sure. Yeah. And one time they just locked the doors on us. I was like, you know, the fucking like, now you can't leave kind of thing. And what the cops would the floors? No, the cop would just come and like call your parents or whatever. It was like a fucking, it was a whole thing. But yeah, we just steal, Ugh. steal food from. But yeah, that diner, there's nothing like it. Hanging out like. Yeah. That's how Buffalo is. It's just shitty diners everywhere. Oh, I yeah. love a shitty diner. I love it too. And it's like, it, everything's under $10. Everything. And you're with yeah. your, with your boys yeah. and you can eat. You want breakfast? It's there. You want lunch? Yeah, it's there. It's you there. want yeah. You can get a steak, milkshake, or you can get pancakes and eggs, French toast, dude. Yeah, yeah. Dude. I gotta get a slice of French toast at a diner. Yeah, you get a cup nowhere of coffee else. Or a beer, like you. Yeah. Can, you can get a sampler for the tab. Yeah. Yes, dude. Oh, two eggs. What's your What's your breakfast order? Back then, it was probably. I mean, like. Well, now what would be your breakfast? Well, order? now I'm like you know I'm like a vegan, so it's a pain oh, okay. In the ass. Yeah, back then then. Yeah, now it's like I gotta. Be a, eggs, I forgot though, about right? this. Back no, then. I can't have eggs. I mean, I don't like eggs. Oh, no, how do you vegetarian. how do you cook your eggs? If back then I was a big scrambled guy, really? Cause, well, I, I was. It's, it's you know white trash. Yeah. Not, not much thought to it. But yeah. then I I grew into the dip and the toast and you the go yolk. over oh. medium, over easy, over easy. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, me yeah, too. yeah. You go hash, definite what hash. What kind of meat you talking? Have hash. I mean, I back then I wanted all the meat. Give me bacon and sausage. Damn. You know what I mean? You guys fuck with scrapple out in Buffalo? What is it called? Scrapple. Scrapple? Scrapple. Scrapple? Yeah. yeah. The fuck is that? Yeah, all the pig meat that's slopped off the floor that's not uh, that's not cut in yeah, proper Imagine portions. everything that doesn't make it into sauce. Assholes, put, tails, put hooves, what, what, what noses. Form, what, does it show up in links? It's, what, it's, what, a, it's, it's a, a paste. Block, right? that's, a paste? That's formed into a block. Oh, okay. Like a, like, a, like a spam. I'll tell you this right now. I'll make you scrapple. To f- oh, you fuck you, vegan. It Make me a vegan scrapple. Up. It would vegan fuck scrapple? you up. Beyond <laughs> the <laughs> impossible <laughs> scrapple. Yeah, you'd have to take a corner of that cushion. All the bad parts of plants. Put dip it in it. vegetable oil and yeah. deep fry it. <laughs> How about pork roll? Did you ever have pork roll? Pork roll? Yeah. No. Same same idea, but it's not all the dirty parts. It's just it's pig into a long form. It's, it's from like a thick Jersey. slice of bologna. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. It's crazy that like... That's from middle of Jersey. Scrapple's from like an hour north of PA or uh, Philadelphia. It's, it didn't make it to Buffalo, which is insane because we love shit like that. Yeah. It's like we love garbage plates. It's not hot here dogs. Either. It's you know. not here. It's not in New York. You can't get a, a nice piece of Scrapple for, for breakfast meat. Yeah. Can't get pork roll. I can't get a pork roll egg and cheese, Scrapple egg and cheese. All those things are very popular in Philly. Can't get it. Both of those are all, that, that's my option when I get a, when I go to a diner. Side of pork roll, well done. I go, I two go, over easy, hash. I go, I got two eggs over easy, pancakes, hash, sausage, toast, rye toast. I go rye too. And Rye's put, good. I'm also a sourdough guy. All of it. What? Even on, yeah. even on the toast? You can't come on. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> 
ketchup toast. No, dude. Yeah, ketchup no. on pancakes too. Ketchup oh. on pancakes with the syrup with and the, the butter. butter? <laughs> I guess if you if you if you oh, it's if you're so a shit good. face, it doesn't really matter. Oh, but. I love yeah. Why would you do everything tastes the same? The purpose of all these flavors is to combine saltiness and sweetness. I, I know. I like a big blend. I don't know. I think this is a rejection of my past. I used to not let things be able to touch Me on the too. plate. Me too. I did the same and thing. And now it's just like I want everything. Have you had blended. garbage plates before? Do you know what these are? No. Am I talking nonsense? No. I've, I've heard, heard of everything up together. I've heard of garbage, garbage plate. plate. So it started in Rochester at this place called Nick Tahoe's. And then it made its way down to Buffalo. But it's like, yeah, it's like you get, you know, shit clocked and you go out and it's like, a layer of, you know, hash browns, and then like a layer of macaroni salad, and then a layer of buffalo fingers, and then a layer of like ground beef, and then like it's like, and it's just all like you just mix it. It's like what you're saying. You just Whoa. mix it. You just cover it in sauces, and you just throw it down your hole. Oh my god, it's so Fucking good moves. and horrible for you, but it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, op- you gotta open up like a, a plumbing. Yeah, well, yeah. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta like nail your ass to the toilet. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, you're gonna be shipping dude. very yeah. busy yeah, very dude. busy boy we went we would go to this place pat's hubba hubba late night it was open all night it was just a hallway and uh, you get texas cheeseburger wedge and some chili cheese fries texas cheeseburger wedge was just two shitty cheeseburger patties with chili on top of it and cheese in just like a the shittiest toasted sub kind of thing yeah i guarantee it sucks it's terrible. it sounds great but it's it's it, us it, but it's, it's not. spicy as fuck and then you get a Pat's Hub of Water, which was just a water with a little splash of Hawaiian punch in it. Yeah. And it was... Ugh. Here's the thing. That sounds like the worst part to me. It yeah. fucking rules. Here's the problem. With stories like this, you're pulling from an enormous amount of nostalgia without any l- legitimacy towards the quality of the food. So we can't come on this journey with you because I know exactly what that tastes like. Well, you like if you had a late night place where you knew some of your other friends that were drinking in other parts of town might wind up. Yeah, that was also that's the, fun. That's also the part. I of get it. it. That's true. You're going there. You're eating shitty food. Yeah. You might see someone. Could be girls. Yeah. Could, you know, buddies. Yeah. Whatever. Right. Could be there. Right. Then it's like. But the person that glorifies this one dog shit fucking place selling absolute. Nonsense. Yeah. For, was, you know, 225. That's great. That's yeah. great. Unless, see, at least you can quantify and qualify a hot dog. It can't be that bad, right? Yeah. Even a shitty hot dog. It's like a slice of pizza. Slice of pizza can be bad, but like if someone's like, you've got to try this sandwich. It is the worst possible grade beef, overcooked, half the amount of cheese that's required. Yeah. You know, it's stale. It's like having a ballpark on, hot dog outside of No, the that's my point. Not true. Ballpark hot dogs are dynamite. No, they're but not. You could you could dress them up. But right? when you hold yeah, it, it yeah. looks like a rat dick in yeah, a soggy yeah. bun. Dude, <laughs> it sucks. It's true. It but sucks. Every time I take a we took a we had a bite at the uh, the Mets Phillies game we went yeah, to. So I good. had a bite at that hot dog and I was like, I forgot how good this is. Well, because you're at the game. <laughs> it's, no, no, it's not just if you nostalgia. weren't. But no, no, he's right. If you were not at the game, <laughs> you're not excited yeah. to throw this. Rat it's a dick good down quality piece hole. of dick. It's a nice dick. Haberset. What? It's good quality meat. It's a haberset. Uh, I think it was a saber set. Saber? No, I a th- sabret. Sabret? I think it was a Hebrew national. All right. Either way, I'm with the Jews yeah, on this. Hebrew national. They fucking ruled. Yeah, I was exclusively a Hebrew national guy. Really? Up. Yeah. Slice the hot dog down the middle. The hot dog. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, put all the That's fixes. the move. Yeah, you got to yeah. go slice. My yeah. grilled dog is lights out. You know what I hate? You go slice, fillet it. You got you got a hard grill on both sides. Yes. Char. Yes. And then you lay Cooper Sharp down the center. Let that bubble up. You toast it done. The bun, t- uh, inside and outside. People only go inside. Mm-mm. You go outside because you toast want Toast the whole damn thing. Yeah, you want yeah. the exterior crunch. A little spicy brown. That ketchup. So fucking roof good. It. So Not on my plate. That sounds great. Yeah, you know we're I gonna do it this summer. On the beach. You know yeah, we're gonna have some barbecues they, back the, here the, when the, I get that fucking the above hot ground dog pool. With the, the, <laughs> the, the diagonal slices. Yeah, you fancy that, it up. I fucking hate That's that. That's unnecessary. Doesn't do it anything. Bends. Yeah. And then it, it's like in an arch in the bun. It's not sitting right. Yeah. Or it's like you can never get it to sit right. Yeah. I like those Chicago hot dogs that have all the bullshit on there. You like the that? poppy seed bun and all that horse shit. It's fun. <laughs> And they put, what, the pickled jalapenos and the yeah, like, uh, peppers and onions. Yeah, you look at everything. It's just too much shit. I admit, it's a lot. 
It's a lot to like. You gotta like really like. Uh, like yeah. Be like the reach guy. I got get... a big problem with like over, oversized sandwiches. Yes. Like they glorify the levels of meat. They're not realistic. Stat- they're not. And, it's and not then you thin. try to like you try to like squeeze it so you can get it in your hole. Yeah. And shit's flying out of the side. It's like a corny show yeah. you see on Food Network. It's like, yeah. dude, no one's eating this fucking. It's not, it's not practical. <clears throat> it's quality, not quantity. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Give me one. A little f- bit of ketchup, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of relish, Damn. maybe some sauerkraut in there. There's a place called Charlie's Hamburgers, and and, and used to be in Folsom, and I think now or whatever, it's in PA, outside of Philly. It's unfucking believable. Single yeah. patty, you get double patty. It's the best fast food burger you'll ever have in your life. What's this place? It's called Charlie's. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go. I don't know why you guys are laughing at me. I'm getting real fucking. Yeah, you're getting very angry about yeah. this place. No, I'm not angry. I'm fucking. Do they make a vegan locked sausage? in. They got to. Oh yeah, yeah they, got of they got vegan everything now. It's vegan, like the, vegan shit is good. It's so like, good. They got go Beyond like good sausages, vegan burgers. It's very good. There's some good ones in New York. Blossom is a good one, like right near uh, Union Square. They got other locations, but that one's the best one. Yeah. yeah. You can get like vegan. What's your go-to? I mean, that's the thing is you're, as a vegan, you're so, you're not used to opening a menu where you can have anything you want. Yeah, so you go yeah. to a vegan restaurant, you're like, oh shit, I want to have all of this, you know? Yeah. But they do like a, they do like a seitan piccata, you know what I mean? They do it all. And dude, vegans, yes, are like. I've had seitan wings. They're yeah. They're pretty good. They're not bad. Yeah, not bad. Vegans are they're like they're like the SpaceX of food because they're like they're trying to just figure out. <laughs> yeah, it's like MacGyver. It it's like, you- like like dude, <laughs> like you order stuff, you order stuff at a vegan restaurant, and they're like, you'll be like, what's good? And they'll be like, this shit's good, this shit's good, this shit. It, we're we're figuring it out. <laughs> they're like, you want to try it? It is kind of, but like stage four. We're doing 10. like a yeah. They're they're like having to just pull from all these different things to make a. It's it can really you patent is. like any of these cooking processes? I don't know about that. Yeah, no, right. But they'll be like, like is there like yeah. is there like a famous vegan a truck in New York yet? Not that I know of. But like everybody, like I mean, I had my first Impossible Whopper. In California, and it was fucking incredible. Oh, I don't good. know why it took me this long to eat one. Is this In and Out? It's Burger King. Oh, Burger King. It's like the only fast food restaurant that has like a, a vegan option. I mean, yeah. it's got mayo on it. And they claim so technically they, it's not vegan. They cook it on a different. Group. I don't know what they are doing. I don't care about that. I'm not you? a ball buster, dude. And yeah. also, sometimes if I'm like, if I, I haven't eaten all day, I'm on a show. It's one of those shows where like we got free pizza. I'm eating some fucking pizza. Yeah, I don't cheese. give a shit. Yeah. I'll eat cheese. I don't care. Yeah. So I'm vegan as much as I can be until I'm hungry and I'm, there's pizza and it's free. Yeah. I don't give a shit. What do, what do they say? Like, how long does it take to be truly vegan? Like, violently vegan? I don't... So you don't and want to even get, get to that be, point. If you got beef grease into your Impossible Burger, would you just vomit out your ass for a while? Well, here's the deal. As a vegan, you're always shitting. So it doesn't even matter. Really? You wouldn't even know it. You wouldn't even recognize it. Because it's all fiber and it's all... I don't know. I'm just someone who shits all the time anyway. I'm, I have a theory... <laughs> yeah, I shit after every It has nothing to do with your 30 beers. I have a theory that people from Buffalo shit and fart more than anybody on the planet. Really? Because of the cheese? I, I think it's just because how we're raised. We're raised on chicken wings, hot Shitty dogs, beer. beef on weck, Canadian beer, like sponge candy. You're just like shitting... Sponge whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Beef on weck first, then sponge candy. What's All beef? of that shit. What are we doing? What's beef Wait, on weck? What is beef it? on weck is like, uh, so it's it's like a dipped sandwich. You got roast beef dipped in the the, the au jus, jus. Yeah. okay? And then it's on a Kimmelweck roll. And a Kimmelweck roll is like a big uh, dinner roll that's like glazed and then has like salt and uh, caraway seeds on top of it. Mm. It's wow. delicious. Love it's caraway. delicious. Love and you put caraway. some horseradish on that roast beef, and that's a beef on weck. Okay, it's a roast beef dip. It's a big fucking roast beef. But point being but is like the large dinner roll. I like. Yeah. So like, <clears throat> Buffalo, you're just you 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 don't as a kid you don't realize that you're eating stuff that's central to Buffalo. You think that the whole world is eating beef on weck, and the whole world is eating, uh, you know, wings all the time. Yeah. But it's really you know you're just what's eating... what's the puffy shit. The puffy shit. What's sponge, the sponge candy? Sponge candy. I don't. I mean, this is a thing. It's like it's like hardened. Sponge cake that's like chocolate cover. That's really all it is. But like it's it's only exists in like that's Western New York. Fun. Yeah, it's delicious. It's like uh, what's that? I shit every time I eat. If I eat, I shit. Me too, dude. Me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before I works. came here, I was like, I, no. But that's not of, how it no, works. No, that's it not how it works. Oh, you mean like immediately? No, you yeah, talk like, to people yes, after I eat. 
10, 15 minutes max. I see. I think that's healthy. I think so too. I when I talk to people, morning. they're like, I only do that in my first meal. Some people yeah. say they shit two times a day every day. And I'm like, two? Yeah. Two? Yeah. Whoa. Well, how much do you consume? I don't, I don't, I don't have the ounces for How many you. meals? I mean, the, the same meals everyone's eating. I don't know. Like, Not everybody. How many meals are you eating? Ah, uh, you know, three, uh, you know, minimum, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple yeah. snacks in between. A couple snacks. Well, if I'm... you only eat one and a half, you shit once or twice, that's normal. If you don't have a lot of shit in the tank, you can't empty it out. I'm vegan and also, like, I'm drinking coffee all day. Me too. I love coffee. Me too. So, like, yeah. things are moving. Oiling. Things are you moving. Oil in the tank. And right? I like it. I love toilets. I yeah. love being on a toilet. You got to get a fucking bidet. Give me your address. I'll get. I'll buy you one. <laughs> I swear to God, I'll buy you a bidet. Okay. Yeah, I promise you. I can't tell the sponsor because, uh, you know, they're not paying us. But I'll, I'll give you the brand. <laughs> yeah. I got a bidet. There's guy. no reason I shouldn't have one by now. Every no one has ever said anything bad about Maddie, a bidet. No, you're gonna go nuts, dude. Yeah. It okay. is so wonderful. It is so wonderful. I'll be like, do not open that door. Yeah. Do yeah. not come in here. You know the feeling like uh, if I wish some... I could combine the hot and the cold water. I know. Why well, never even thought about temperature with the bidet? It yeah. only cold goes water. You can buy a bidet that has a heated seat, and you can also buy a bidet that, that mixes the, the, the water temperatures. Really? That's uh, a whole nother jump. You can get a quality bidet that's going to last you years for $100. Now it sounds like you're doing a commercial. Yeah, I know. I know. Welcome because to Tommy's. Don't say the fucking brand. You don't have any idea how long it'll You last. can get yourself a quality bidet. I know bidet. how long this one's lasted. Yeah, that one. Because I bought it three years ago. The one with the hybrid fill, I think, is going to break fast. That's my theory. It's also three times the price. Yeah. And I don't need a heated seat. I don't, I don't want, need a heated So when it comes to the, the bidet hands. that you have, but right? you're not blasting for a full fucking foot bath. You're just trying to get a... If you, is this you know, a self... No, I uh, Is this a self-installed yeah. situation? Yes. It takes two seconds. Yeah. Okay, okay. You, all you're doing is rewiring the, the water from the tank, from the water source. Take that off, and you're splitting it. One goes I don't know how to, to do the bidet itself. Get, listen, if I my can figure it out, will know. you can figure it out. My wife yeah. will know how to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy. She's She's very She'll be very happy with this. All right. We'll be spraying yeah. our genitals. Clean whistles all over the place. I'd like a nice clean whistle. You, fucking, yeah. You're going to get one. Yeah. You're going to get it's one. It's not even the fact. Even if it didn't clean, it would still be worth it. Because it's right. just the feeling. Do you love getting your ass licked is what you're telling us. It's, it's about being clean. I like getting my ass power washed. I don't, I don't know about a lick. Well, that's... It's a strong tongue. Yeah, yeah. Who's going to say no to a lick? If, if, the, if, the, if the bidet was sentient, I would be. I probably wouldn't use it. <laughs> if it popped up and said, is that enough for you, sir? Yeah. Oh, you like that? I'd be like, no! <laughs> Shall I go down and do more? Dude, great idea. <laughs> sentient bidets? fly off the shelf. Are you kidding me? No. Like a Siri? Oh my God! Uh, if you could, yeah, if Alexa. you could lock in like an Australian lady, Alexa, I've licked your ass. Yeah, if you, it requires you, more. <laughs> I bet it does. As soon as you turn it to the right, it's like, oh, uh, 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 do you like that? Do you like that, sir? A bit more, eh? No, you honestly, you wanted to have like a chimney sweep voice. <laughs> <laughs> Chim Chimaru, I want Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> just like a n- fucking 1950s cop, like, ah, you'll never catch me alive. <laughs> I'm like your asshole, see? Yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll never see my don't, asshole again. Yeah, don't look me down. Mmm, <laughs> tasty barbecue. 100 bucks, dude. 100 bucks will change your fucking life. Okay. It really will. Well, you said you'd pay for it. Yeah. So 100 bucks out of your pocket. I will buy it for you. You want to shake on it? <laughs> no, I trust you. Yeah. Then Clean it. Then you'll have no way of getting out of it. Well, I know your I'm asshole's clean. I don't know if your bidet. hand is clean. True. I'm going to buy you a bidet, and I'm dead serious, because I think it's worth it. I think it's going to change your life. That's and the thing. I These be... bidet people, like, they want to recruit other people. Vegans want to recruit other people. I want to help my friend out. I don't know. I like that he hasn't tried to recruit anybody. That's how you got to do things in life. You do them. You don't try to pull anyone towards it. Yeah. I like People this figure too. it out yeah. themselves. It's like, I'm vegan. Yeah, but I, I don't care. Serious. I wasn't serious. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to push it on you. Yeah, I would never want anyone. But a bidet you know. is a different situation. Okay, <laughs> but it is good. <laughs> there is. Well, yeah. how many years have you? Food's got nothing on getting your asshole. <laughs> so how long? <laughs> how how long? <laughs> how long have you been a bidet? Person? The best, the Nick's. What's it called? What's the fucking sandwich? Your meat uh, sandwich. Oh, the, oh, the beef on weck. Beef, beef on weck. Yeah. Get a beef on weck if you're in Buffalo. 
Don't yeah. get one outside of Buffalo because it'll be dog shit. You know, the thing is, I don't use the bidet every time. <laughs> okay, so I you're not you're an every day I, I, every day every I, time. I save it up. Yeah, and then it's a treat for you. Yes, an anal treat. Yes. <laughs> Wait, why would you not use it every time? I don't know. It seems like a bit of a hassle. This is why I'm glad you said this. Your, sprays your yes, asshole. You this, get shit all over your balls. This is the reason why. Balls, Stop yeah. saying this. No, no. He's he's saying hey, you don't get shit on your balls. But listen, okay. clean your Think ass. About the shape. Of, okay, you got your asshole here. Grundle balls. Okay, well, shit runs Why down do you have to be so gross? <laughs> no, but what he's Just saying... Just wipe your ass down down. like a proper... This but spray, I'm telling you... The spray's coming from this angle to your Matt. asshole. It sprays, it goes down the grundle, No, it does. The balls. Every, it has to. It people who are not... Angle upward. People who are not bidet people like myself... Need to hear this, this dirt No, ball? but this is the reason why. Because it's a hassle. It's like, I got to spray water. It's not. And that's why my, I'm telling them to shut up about it. I got to spray, spray water on my ass and taint. Dude. Yeah. Now I got a dripping nah, undercarriage. Nah, I got to like uh, dry yeah. it off. Right. And, Let's reel it back yeah, in, gotta, everybody. You got to pat it. Yeah. And here's what happens. You got to wipe after. Here's what happens. Spray there's again. A, pat. There's a velocity dial. You can you want salt. maximum velocity. <laughs> he does. <laughs> what would be the point of not ripping it up to the top? Right. Okay. If if you if you want to take his fucking word for it, he's got his socks wet, his shoes have to be thrown out, there's <laughs> shit all over the walls. You don't want to limp it's stream. None of this you don't is real. Limp stream that gets more shit on your None balls. Of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's everywhere. Clean yourself properly, normally, with paper towels or uh, fucking toilet paper. And you gotta wipe give it balls give like it a, a squirt. Baby. Start like at your baby. own convenience. Okay. It's like jumping into a batting cage, baby. Start at like fifty miles an hour. You don't want to get smoked. By the way, is there a good batting cage in we New York? We can find it. Let me focus. I would love to. <laughs> I, I don't want you to start at fifty, and then when month three, jacking it up to seventy, and then if you feel feel a little riding in you, you know what I mean. Buck that fucking rhino, jack it all the way up. You might feel something about it. How? There's no way you're driving shit out of your ass, up your Let balls. Let me ask you this. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Out of the wallpaper. Your balls are below your asshole. I know where they are. This is an important question for you me. You can't not get water on them. How often after you use a bidet, you stand up, you pull up your pants, you zip up. Never once. And your ass still feels wet. Never once. Never once. No. Because okay. You take quite an often. additional piece. See, we're getting uh, you need different. You need to know about Chris. I don't want a wet ass. You're not going to have a wet I, ass. I lived my whole life God avoiding damn, a wet I'm ass. so upset. Also, you, you strike me as a toilet paper con- conservation guy. I mean, uh, yes I and no. I can myself. I mean, I... You fold? I, I, uh, I've never had a problem thus far. Do you fold a wrap? Do I fold a wrap? What do you mean? Yeah, do you Am I like wrap, wrap your hand or do you fold it into a thing? I guess I fold it into a thing. I don't Me wrap too. my hand. Yeah. Three squares, depending upon the the, the, True. the the girth. I'll go three. Well, it also depends. If it's like double ply, go three. If it's quadruple ply, go two. Sometimes I get True. fucked up True. though. Sometimes I get fucked up by the supply. If I see over there that we have tons, I'm like, whatever. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, Monopoly. Baby. Then I'm pawing at that thing like yeah. a cat. I'm like, yeah. who gives a shit? <laughs> You got a cane in one hand. Yeah, I'm just. I'm fucking. <laughs> you take the top hat off. It's got two more rolls in it. I'm just throwing toilet paper all over. I'm dabbing my face. Yeah. I'm like, look at all that stuff. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Hello, my baby. Hello, my doll. Hello, my right time. Like, yeah, it's, a sh- it's vaudeville in there. Me and the toilet paper are having a good time. All right, look. I'll say this one more time, concisely and concinctly. Wipe appropriately, normally. After that, it's a quick mouthwash for your bun. That's it. For your bun. That's it. <laughs> your butthole's gargling some fresh water. It's a clean fucking bath time. And then you take two or three. But isn't more... it? To- it's toilet water that you're showing. No, it's up. not toilet water. No, it's fresh It's clean, the... fresh water yeah, coming yeah. directly from the source. It comes source. out of the tank. From the tank. Yeah. yeah. It's a okay. split tank. Actually, no, it comes out of the cold water fill. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. Half goes to the tank to wash yeah, out, yeah. half comes directly from the spit. Yeah. <laughs> So it gets a fucking fire hose right to your dart. <laughs> and then you just puff like three tabs. Wash it off. Give a nice little tuck. Oh, I thought you meant... Clean yeah, his asshole you, in the fucking town. So you're saying you wipe, used to open spray, and then bit. wipe again. You, you, right? Are yes. You, are you, yes, are you, yes, are you yes, spreading? Yes, yes. Wipe, wipe to wipe. completion as if you didn't have a bidet. Right when you would so get off... So if the bidet is right here... Am I kind of like yanking you don't my you just call it ass yes. open? No, there's a little knob right here. No, you don't have to yank your ass open. You learn to like flex it open a little okay. bit. Okay. You I just sit in a way. Yeah, you lean. You get used to the You'll find out where that angle yeah. is. You know how to open the hole. 
You'll yeah. find out where the angle is. Then you will too. Yeah. Okay. You, you don't have to it. open up like a whale's fucking breathing hole. You just let it, well, let you, it you, fucking it, splash. You open it as wide as you need to until it gets the job done. Let it splash. Yeah. We should have an ad for this right now. We can fucking <laughs> crush it. The brand that I want to fucking add on? Woo! Yeah. Baby. Why well, don't you well, say if, the brand? If, if, I can't. If they Why? ever, if they ever sponsor us, we'll, we'll, well, we'll cut it Well, they'll start if you say it. What? I don't know how these things work. We just found out how it works. How's it work? Oh, ads work? No, yeah. it's not. I don't want to. It's boring. I'll you, tell you They afterwards. pay you money and you say what they want you to yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's going to be good. I'm not close to it. I would like to see what everyone's talking about. Well, we'll find out. Yes, I'll be right back. We'll find out. It's going to be good. Don't listen to this fucking, it's, this look, fucking it's, orangutan. No, he, he's echoing my concerns. He's a dirtball. He's not a dirtball because is. of the bidet. He's a real dirtball. No, he uses it sometimes. You know what I mean? Now i got to wash up Mike. <laughs> You're yes. like, what do you mean you don't use it every day? Yeah. yeah. He's not going to wash his hands when he walks out of the bathroom. He's a real fucking monster. Give him a fist pound on your way out. Well, I'm going to have to wait. Great too. to meet you, Christopher. Yeah. Christopher. Or is it Carl? Carl. You, you have anything to plug? Do we do what? Anything to plug? Oh, God. I know. I, we don't usually do this, but I'm going to do it for you. I got really nothing to plug other than, you know. Um, do you constipate at all? Uh, you know, Chris. the constipation doesn't happen that often. You're now that I'm not eating a lot there? of cheese, yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm just like, I mean, a lot of times uh, a, a number one will turn into a number two for me, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I'm, know. I'm sitting down every time, by the way, also. I'm sitting down to pee all the time now. No. Not in public restrooms. Joke? Not in public, but at home, I'm sitting down. You sit down to piss? Yes. I gotta say, I can't do it. Really? For what? I don't. I, yeah, I, it does make me feel a little feminine and weird. No, that's no, not man. It doesn't make. I feel I, great. I why do you do it? Because I'm so lazy. Matthew, what? I recently pooped first and then peed after. No, you, I peed. so you pooped and then you pissed all over your your logs. <laughs> no, well, I was sitting down. <laughs> Trying to break them up. No, I pee, sometimes I do that to see how powerful my stream is. That's fun. Is. That's a fun yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you get like a little stain on the bowl and you're like, have no fear. Yeah. Then you oh, gotta, yes. That's yeah. where you really separate the Blast it the yeah, with yeah, the stream yeah. and watch yeah. it go away. I'll it's very it satisfying. Yeah. Whoever the girlfriend was that designed that little fly to stick to the inside of a urinal so you hit the exact spot where it doesn't splash all over the fucking place. I've never even seen that. Yeah. Urinals will have a fly they put at a... At a a spot in the urinal where the undulation is perfect so that it, it well first of all the whole urinal had to be decide, had to be invented by a woman because no man would be stupid enough to make a urinal urinals are terrible I'm a stall guy all the way yeah you know what I want it's just it's like how about you walk close to a wall and pee on it it's and like, like no. and try not to get any backsplash on yeah, you yeah. it's bullshit here's what I want and you, when the, you, you could the, piss down the hole but then they put a screen there so it splashes. Everywhere. Now they put that weird like plastic ice or some shit in yeah, there. Yeah. Do you know the double the double sink at like fancy hotels or rich people's houses? Yes. I want to yeah. get ready sink and a piss sink. Oh, you like pissing in the sink? I think it'd be it's appropriate height. It's got the the depth of the bowl. Yeah, I'm not tall Doesn't worry about a sink piss. Oh, I used we can to get piss. you a little shorter one, <laughs> like at a kindergarten used, when you had that kids, like little short guy. Piss sink? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used to piss in the kitchen sink <laughs> when I had a roommate. And I'd get up for work, and he'd be in the shower for too long. I would just piss right in the kitchen sink. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. You know. That's happened. There's nothing you can do about that. Yeah. Or you take one cup that nobody uses. It says, like, Pittsburgh Steelers on it or some shit. Yeah. Piss in that. Piss cop. Yeah. Yeah. Leave it on the floor for someone to knock over. I have no faith. I have no... I Like, I piss more than a pint, I think, every time. I got to piss right now. I'm a big guy. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, that might be it. That's it. Did you want to plug anything? Oh, okay. Where we are we? To. What's happening? We really well, he was trying to plug until you were like, so. yeah, you, are you constipated? No. Uh, what can I plug? I got another. I'm I just, just recently had a situation where I was shoving Q-tips up there trying to break it up. Up your pee hole? Where? Up my butthole. Oh, your butthole. That makes way more sense. What? Yeah, there it was a hard, tight. It, there was like kind of like a knot. There was like a hard clump right at the end. Did you ever hear that story of me and McKee, or McKeever told uh, on uh, Dad Me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Think about what you want to plug. <laughs> McKeever told the story. I was crying laughing. He was constipated because he had to get on some medication yeah. for something. And like one of the uh, uh, side effects of like one of those like, 
I, those hard drugs. That hard drug that like yeah. whatever, like a hard antibacterial or whatever, antiviral. I feel like everything either. Yeah, it tightens you up. Yeah, it drains yeah. you out. And he said he he didn't shit for like days, and he was like crying, trying not to you know trying to go to the bathroom. He couldn't. He couldn't. He couldn't. He went yeah. to the hospital and he finally went. And he cried tears of joy after he said he dude. dropped. He dropped like eight tangerines in the toilet. Dude, yeah. and he was weeping dude. out of joy. And dude, I always think about it all the time. It's the. It made me wish they had like a tiny stick of dynamite. Blast it like yes, you're dude. building a highway through a yeah. mountain. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Your girlfriend's in the fucking living room. Like ready three. <laughs> <laughs> like it's fucking wily coyote yeah. <laughs> just a flood of dump <laughs> yeah jesus christ flood of dump dude a little mini them. shit dynamite yeah. oh my god yeah. that's so good yeah. you what like would they stick call a q-tip up in there to get like a boil yeah. remember those stick little the, the fire the firework you could light in your hand that it wouldn't it's, it was like jumping jet not jumping jack uh it was a t it looked like a tiny tiny little stick of dynamite they were red <laughs> Did you fuck with fireworks? Yeah, on? Like, I, it's like wolf packs. Are those wolf snake, packs? Yeah, the snake that you like. Snake was yeah. great. Yeah, snake was great. No, Firecrackers was, are so fun. Oh. Cap guns. Cap guns rule. <sighs> Do you ever get the rubber band gun where you could load multiple rubber? Totally. Bands? Now we had an M80 guy. Fucking one of my brother's friends would get like quarter six of dynamite. That's serious. And we'd stick them in like Nerf footballs, light it, toss them, boom, feel that wave go through your fucking your eyebrow and your hair. Dude, I was a I was a park ranger <laughs> once, a couple different summers. I was a park ranger. It's the last story I'll tell. The rules and uh, and uh, in Buffalo, and we would always be fucking with firecrackers in the wood. You know, yeah. there's nothing else it's to the do. Best. You're in college. You know what you're doing. So there was this old like in, industrial size brick of butter that was just in like the work fridge for so long, and then it just sat there all summer. And then one time I was like reading the paper in the break room and my buddy like put a bunch of firecrackers in there lit them all like slid it and goes butter bomb it was <laughs> butter everywhere in the <laughs> inside yeah it was like a fucking movie it was like super troopers it was like a <laughs> butter butter on like the tip of my nose as i bring the paper down and i'm like all right let's go save some lives <laughs> fantastic good times in the middle oh, of a fuck. forest fire all right plug away kiddo all right uh i'm in a i'm in a film on amazon this wow! Right? Called Solo Project. Okay, and then I have a film coming out that is not out yet, but then we'll. That's, you know, I told you you got to fucking resize this thing and repost. Well, I you 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 yes you gave Unbelievable. me. Unbelievable! I did, I did, I uh, did. Okay. I was very upset with myself. I, those moments where I feel like a boomer, where I'm no. like, it didn't fucking. I get it. You should hear him every every Wednesday. Instagram we're posting sucks. Clips, go, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Instagram blows. Yeah. It all blows. It, everything yeah. sucks. We're, everything sucks. Yeah. We're just trying to have fun before Let's we die. Let's have three more beers and kill ourselves, dude. Yes, yeah. sounds good. Um, I hope the Rangers right are winning, by the way. Um, oh, yeah. What doesn't matter. Uh, what, when is this coming out? Tomorrow. This is coming out uh, Wednesday. All right, January 4th, I'll be at uh, Gutter Bar in Brooklyn. Comedians, you should know. That's a good show. Oh, yeah. That is Fuck a great yeah. show. So come out to that. Nice. There you go. I plugged. Who's running that now? Who are the boys running? David that? Drake, yes. Mike Leibovitz, Carmen Lagala, and I think mm, Jack Comstock's also involved oh, now. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's All a, right. well, best show in the city. One of them, yeah, you know. Yeah, it is for sure. It was a monster show in Chicago for a while, right? It was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if it still is. But I yeah. think it is. I think they got a nice little yeah, yeah, satellite. Yeah. They used All to right. have one in LA, too. I don't know if that's still going on. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's where it started. No, it started in Chicago. It started in Chicago. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. It was like and then like Joe Michael Kilgallen and... like took it out to L.A. And now it's also in New York. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, dog. All right, sweet. Yeah, dude. Thank Give you. Give the history so of that show. That of course. I hope this was good. This was so fun. <laughs> yeah. You guys rule. You're the man. Let's go to the bar. <laughs>